Good morning, everybody. Relaxing somewhere. Welcome to our channel and welcome to Taiwan. So we're still in Kaohsiung and today we're visiting probably one of the most famous places to come and visit in Kaohsiung, which is Lotus Pond. It's surrounded by absolutely loads of beautiful temples, pagodas, statues. It looks phenomenal. We've been so excited about coming here. It's, it's been one of the places we've oh, been looking forward to the whole trip. Definitely. So we've come to the amazingly impressive statue to the god of war here on the lake. He has got a name and it is so long and complicated to say I'm not even going to attempt it. So by now you'd have seen that I've wrote it on the screen. But it's such a large statue that you can see it from all over the lake. Brightly coloured, absolutely beautiful um, and the surrounding area as well is lovely because you've got a bridge that goes to it. It's absolutely fantastic. And the bridge is covered in statues of warriors. It is, this is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal again. I'm, I'm loving this pond. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. He's even got a little koi pond down below him, which is nice. So we've seen a few of these machines and some of them are like lucky wish machines, some of them are for lucky charms. So I'm gonna get joined our lucky charm and let's see what we get. Wait, I don't know how to do it. I don't get oh it's gonna land an egg. It's land an egg. He's taking his time, isn't he? <laughs> He's a disco chicken. <laughs> Here it comes. Hey, hey got it. Yeah. I have no idea. Well, it looks like a little charm bracelet. I think that's a little bit too small for your wrists. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's pretty. Does fit. It's adjustable. So as you can probably tell by looking at me, it is so hot today. So we've stopped to get a nice cold drink. And we've got a Roselle tea, which we've never had before. But all accounts is part of the hibiscus flower. Um, and we've got it with some boba in it and some ice, lots of ice. Let's have a try. Well, it's not very sweet. It's very refreshing. I don't know what it tastes like. It's nice, sir. Okay, so it's my turn to try this tea now, this Roselle tea. And I've got to be honest, she never told me before we bought it, it was made from hibiscus flowers. So that's a new one on me. I don't know what that tastes like at all. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. It's quite savoury, actually. No, sorry. I, uh, Drin, I don't know, Drin said, can I explain what it tastes like? She couldn't work out, but I can't work out what that tastes like. So now we're at the Spring and Autumn Pavilions. Again, they look absolutely amazing. Brightly coloured, um, you've got these two tall pagodas and a dragon statue at the front. Yeah, the dragon statue is a thing of legend around here. Apparently, the goddess of mercy came down from the clouds riding a dragon and told them to build it, didn't they? <laughs> That's the legend. Yeah. And um, the statue of the guy on it is called 
Guyan? Guy, 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 Guyan, Guyan, yeah, yeah, something like that, but yeah. And the other cool. statue is the, sister, the, the goddess of mercy herself. But it's a phenomenal looking place, it yeah. really is. So you can actually go in through the dragon's mouth, so I'm going to go in now and have a look. This dragon is absolutely massive. And it's so pretty inside, yeah. isn't it? All painted, all the walls are all painted, it's lovely. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I hope it's coming out on camera because it's a bit dark. But yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Really pretty. And like I said, I can't go over how big it is. It's absolutely huge. And it goes up and down. Yeah. It goes like, <laughs> Once you've walked through the dragon, you can actually walk along a bridge and you can come to this beautiful pagoda at the end and you can actually go upstairs in it and it's amazing views of the pond, it really is, it's lovely up here. Nice and cool as well, it's a lovely breeze. So there's people wakeboarded on the lake as well. I thought it was just going to be a tranquil, peaceful place for the temples, yet there's people over there doing extreme sports. So we're at probably the most famous place here at Lotus Pond and we're at the Dragon and Tiger Pagodas and they're under renovation. <laughs> yeah, um, they are gorgeous looking when they're not because I've seen pictures and videos of them obviously. So I think you can still go inside but obviously you can't do your pictures and your shots of the outside because it, they're just covered in green stuff and scaffolding like Matthew said. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible doesn't it? <laughs> There's a zigzag path all the way to the entrance because you go in through the dragon. Don't you go you? in through the dragon, don't you? And leave for the tiger for good luck. For good luck, luck yeah. And there's a zigzag path because evil spirits can't follow you then because they, apparently they can only walk in one in straight line. Lines, yeah. So hopefully, if we go in through the dragon for good luck and come out for the tiger, all the scaffolding might be gone. Well, yeah, let's see. <laughs> so we've walked in through the dragon's mouth and inside there's depictions of, I don't know what really, there's people being chopped in half and stabbed. But it's all done in ceramics, it's ever so delicate and pretty, it's, it's excellent. Well, that didn't work, the scaffolding was still there when we came out. It was lovely inside there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was beautiful, the, the carving seemed so intricate, so delicate, really nice. So the road that runs alongside Lotus Pond has temples dotted all the way down it, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to find information out on them. It's really difficult. We've because it's got road names and road signs, and they haven't, so we can't work out which temples which. Yeah, I think there's meant to be over 20 temples around the area. Um, some of them are obviously quite famous, so we know about those. But some of them are coming across, and we haven't got a clue what they are, and it's all in Chinese, so we, some of them we don't know anything about. But right opposite the pagodas we were just at, there's a place here called Quiming Court and it's absolutely beautiful again isn't it? gorgeous, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous temple. Everywhere in Taiwan we've been and looked at temples we've been blown away haven't we? Yeah. They're so detailed and intricate, it's a beautiful, beautiful temple. I love the colours and this one behind us which Matthew said Quiming Court, um, is again a massive temple, I think it's set in the four floors, it's even got a library inside, so amazing. It's an incredibly scorching hot day today. The window's melting. It is very muggy <laughs> and there's no breeze. And yeah, like Matthew said, I'm really melting. <laughs> but it's a beautiful place, isn't it? Yeah, it's so it's peaceful gorgeous. and tranquil. Yeah, right very there. nice. We're loving walking around. It's beautiful.
so we're now at our last temple here on Lotus Pond, and this one is Confucius Temple. It is absolutely massive. It is huge. It really is. Huge. I think it's the biggest temple on the pond, though, isn't it? It is. It is the largest temple yeah. here on the pond. Yeah. yeah. It's built in the same architectural style as the famous Confucius Temple in the Forbidden City in Beijing. And that temple is so high on my list to visit, it's unbelievable. Yeah, that'd be a good I would one to love see. to see that temple. Yeah. So after an absolutely fantastic day walking around Lotus Pond, we thought we'd end the day by coming down here to Love River in Gaishong. We heard it was lovely and it really isn't disappointing at all. So it really is so pretty down here. The boats are floating past and they're all lit up. The bridges and all down the side of the river are all lit up and it's all flashing different colours. We found a bar, so we're having a beer. Just sat here on the river, chilling. It's amazing, it's lovely. And that ends our time in Gaosheng. We had an absolutely fantastic time, we really did. What a brilliant city to explore. So much fun you could have. Renting the buggies was great. So much culture, so much to see. Absolutely brilliant city that's often not mentioned as much as other places in Taiwan. We're lasting somewhere. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.